everyone <clears throat> Saturday and I've got Rufus here, my handyman here, I'm just doing a temporary fix up there at the minute because we're expected showers. Um, yeah, so Saturday and I just wanted to do a little bit of a talky bit. I know I normally do and it's blabbles and things, but basically um, I just wanted to say that this vlog is sort of like a little bit of a montage thing. You know, Thursday night, some of what I got up to yesterday because I got home, came in, went straight back out because I managed to get an eye test, but had my eyes tested new specs for me coming um because my eyes have altered <laughs> a dog's in trouble also uh what else yeah i went into george as the living and the autumn stuff's coming so I start trying to do a quick zoom around in there. And then by the time I've done that yesterday with the best of intentions of getting my vlog up, I just got home and I think everything caught up with me from the night before. So we'd had a late night and really good fun. You know when you have a surreal moment, really was a surreal moment and it was like we were 14, 15 again, being absolute silly nutters and you know even though it was a seated venue and obviously I'm seated, we were on the front row and they were saying, oh, come on, everybody, stand up, dance and things. So I raised up in my chair. And as you'll see, there's a, a bit of silly jigging about. Obviously, I blurred Angie's face out because it's not fair. And yeah, I think I just need more of that in my life. And it's a bit of, we were speaking and because we'd gone to see Alexander O'Neill and I remember Angie having the hearsay album cassette and because we spent many of our in her bedroom, spent many an hour in my bedroom and a lots of time at her house when it, you know, when she bought it was, I don't know how many hours we spent listening to that, how many songs we forgot, how many lyrics we thought we'd forgotten as well and we haven't and it just come flooding back and it was silly photo poses and everything all over again and sharing a bed and chatting away and just really really it gave me something amazing back. It really did. I remember going out with Emma. And Emma will know what I'm going to say, I hope. When I say we were um, out in Leeds. 
and we've gone to the theatre. We I think we went to see Dream Girls. But we ended up not like us at all having a, a drink. Um and it was a gorgeous sunny day. You know, we'd been bought um a bottle of fizz by a random younger guy and things like that and it was like so such a lovely day we'd gone on the train and just Emma and I we ended up going for bits of food but we ended up you know, I remember in the restaurant, you know, like singing away because it was dead quiet when we went in. It was a bit later. And the staff smiling and just, you know, laughing with us and things. And I remember saying to Emma that day, thank you for letting me be me well not even that I don't know if those were the exact words I used but it was along those lines of thank you for letting me feel you know how I used to feel when I used to go out and I, you know, I used to be silly and daft and not really have a care in the world that was like I do now with health and stuff. And I don't even think you realise when you think you've got worries and stuff and when you look back you haven't you know so yeah so that was the first time for years that i gone out without like either in a family group or you know as a couple and things uh, gone out with a friend and been silly and even though I was in the chair I was silly I was daft I was chicken about I was singing you know, and I know I do that all the time at home, but to get ready to go out is amazing. And basically what I'm getting round to is on Thursday night, it was the same thing again for me. Only because, you know, we grew up together and Emma and I didn't. And Jimmy used to share a bed. We used to do silly things, you know, like you're not supposed to when you're teenagers. <sighs> I'll tell you some of them one day, because you may not believe it. But we used to do all sorts of things. And, and it was like that. Like, say, I laid in bed and yattering on about when we were young the um yeah so it was a surreal amazing moment like I say along the same sort of lines that emma i've experienced with emma 
like the first time we went away and we were just laid in the hobbit hut and we were chatting and laughing and losing ourselves i guess what i'm trying to say is it is it, it's amazing moment when you do lose yourself just for a little bit just for a second just for a minute and i honestly think that is one of the greatest gifts that can be given or you can give yourself it's a gift that money can't buy isn't it so here we are so here's a little bit of everything my lovelies right so this is the rest of thursday and lipstick on hair judged up right i'm going oh morning wow i've had such a good night's sleep really really cozy nice lovely but you know as is my life i never will attest to this i can't go away without my trusty bottles for my peg to do my meds so i've been doing that and it is the thing of getting ready to go back home by degrees so getting dressed having a rest you know or getting in my wheelchair resting getting clothes on resting um meds and resting but i've had a cup of coffee and a cup of tea and it's my lovely friend who made me it um yeah so last night was really good it have i even said who we went to see no i don't think i have it's a bit of a people go what you went to see him but we went to see alexander o'neill now the reason being is my friend had his hearsay album right and um the hours we spent in her bedroom you know listening to that and there were songs that you forget about and you didn't realize you knew and from somewhere in the back of your head they come flying out but yeah he is an old man he's stooped over he has to sit on a stool his voice is still amazing. I mean, they didn't have the mix right, you know, the levels right on the mixing desk. And my mate went and told him on our way out to the loo at half time. Because he did like three quarters of an hour, had a break, and three quarters of an hour. But the second bit was a lot better now, whether it's because they changed the mix or whatever but yeah and I was you know like raised my chair up and I was dancing and because we were right at the front but we did something we didn't realize we were gonna do never done it before either of us we met him we did the meet and greet thing and we took him we got something signed and but it wasn't how we thought it would be and it's not how they described it and it was like we were sitting at a table and we were in a line of people obviously and his wife was there as well you know like assisting him or whatever and she was lovely enough but it was basically at the end of the corridor you know where it like opened out into a square which okay fine but, and he's boosting his retirement fund, I guess. But, yeah, it was good. So, but last night, 
brought home to my friend especially. You know, just how patronising people are to me because I'm in a wheelchair and I don't know if they were all out last night, but, you know, it's like you don't have a brain cell. So, yeah, so we've been ranting about it. But, you know. So, yeah, Alexander O'Neill, but <laughs> I do have to say we're going to a gig later this month. And, which, you know, we're going to uh, go see a band that's very close to our heart. We can't see our first love band because they don't perform together anymore. And they weren't, again, I mean, he's singing, he sings on his own sort of thing, if he does any gigs. And I think he's just started doing some again. But we wouldn't just go see him because, you know, it's about the whole band. So we'll never see them unless lightning strikes. So we're off to see our second love. But more about that later, but that's later this month. So that'll be another trip. It'll be interesting. And who knows, we may go on the train. <laughs> We'll start that gauntlet again. So, I am going to get ready now. I've got my bottom half on. I'm going to get ready, brush my teeth. Because my mouth's really like, my lips are sticking to it. I know I get dry mouth with my drugs, but yeah. So, I need to brush my teeth, do my hair, get my top on and... Go back to Casey and my fur babies. Hiya. So, we've just got the taxi to drop us off at home. I'm going to tell you a story about that later, but then, because really I need my eyes testing, I've been supposed to do it, and then the thing with the hip, I ended up in hospital. So, I... I've come into town, I've dropped Angie off, she needed to grab some bread, she's gone home and I've got an eye test booked at five to two but in the meantime I've come into George. 